My name is Alex Candelo, and I'm the manager of Applications Development Technologies and Tools here at D-Wave System. And today, I'm going to be doing a live demo showing how to use our hybrid and quantum resources for solving real problems at scale. So I'm going to start off here in Leap. For a lot of you, I think you've probably seen Leap before, but for those of you who haven't, this is our online platform for quantum computing. There's a lot of great features in Leap, most of which I don't unfortunately have time to go into today, but I'll just run by them really quickly. So the first one is I can see things like how much solver access I have, what solvers I have access to, problems I've submitted. You'll notice that I have access here at the bottom to an advantage system. That's new as of today. But what I want to go to next is our set of examples. So in Leap, we have a curated set of examples that are built for you to understand how to use quantum computing and hybrid computing for real problems today. These problems are all chosen to be recognizable to you. Things like nurse scheduling, pipeline monitoring, satellite placement. These are all practical problems that people have used our quantum and hybrid solvers to solve. I'm going to go ahead and pick one, which is our antennas problem. And I'm going to load that up in our online IDE available in Leap. This IDE is going to come pre-installed with our Ocean tools, with an inspector, and with everything else that you need to run a quantum computing program right away. So as you can see here, I have our antennas example that I just loaded. And I can go ahead and run this right away, simply by opening a terminal. This has everything that I need. This is, has Python installed, as I mentioned. It has all the tools. This is a fully functioning Python environment. And I can just go ahead and run this demo right away. When I do this, this is making a call to our Advantage system live, right here in front of everyone. And lo and behold, our Advantage system was able to find the solution to this problem. Now, so far I've been talking about problems that are relatively small in scale and are able to be fit directly on a quantum computer. But we all know that real practical problems at customer scale are large. And large problems require hybrid solutions. So hybrid is the best of classical and quantum together. And I'm going to show a demo of solving a practical problem using hybrid. So let's go ahead and take a look at a resource distribution problem. Resource optimization is a very common problem in lots of different industrial optimization spaces. And it's especially relevant today with the COVID-19 pandemic. The problem is this. Imagine you have a collection of hospitals. These hospitals have either a shortage or a surplus of resources. I would like to take my collection of hospitals and put them into small pods in such a way that each pod has a net surplus of resources. And I want to do it such that each of these pods are relatively easy to share resources amongst. So think nearby. So let's go ahead and pop over to a little visual representation of what I'm talking about. So here we have an image of a map of New York. What we've done is we've taken a public data set that has the locations of a collection of hospitals, and we've generated some uh, shortages and surpluses in those hospitals based on their size. So you can see here, here's a collection of hospitals. Blue circles represent surpluses. Red circles represent shortages. And the size of the circle represents how much of a shortage or surplus there is. I'll mention that our hybrid solver, this, this demo actually works for quite a bit bigger maps. Before, I was just looking at New York, but I can actually zoom this out to you know, a big chunk of the eastern seaboard by looking at 1,000 hospitals. And our hybrid solver can handle problems of this scale. But because I have you know, a relatively short demo, I'm going to keep this relatively small so that we can run it here. And I'll focus on just New York. What I want to do is I want to take this collection of hospitals, and I want to partition them into groups of size 4. So you can see here, we have a partition size of 4. I also want to limit the number of neighbors that each hospital can connect to. So each hospital can only look at its eight nearest neighbors as potential partners. This is a reasonable thing to do because you wouldn't want to, say, pair a hospital in the middle of New York with a hospital in Chicago. There's some other things that I can tune. For instance, I can tune how much I want to care about the cost of shipping between the hospitals, think the distance, and how much I want to emphasize the uh, degree of surplus for each hospital. This is all tunable, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump to solving this problem with the settings as currently set. So let's go ahead and run this on our Leap hybrid sampler. So I've just hit run. A problem has been submitted to our server side Leap hybrid sampler. This is a sampler that is backed by Advantage that uses the best of both quantum and classical resources to solve problems at scale. These problems are large, these problems are difficult, and they need both classical and quantum in order to get you know, the benefits of both and truly reach uh, the full potential of solving. 
So you can see here, it's found a solution. The hospitals have been grouped. You can see that there's you know, a group of four here and a group of four here and here. Um, and there's some you know, data about what we did. So this is sort of the cost of shipment, and this is the total utility that are gotten. So in real time, right now, using a hybrid system, I was able to solve this problem and make the best use of both classical and quantum together. Just for comparison, I'm going to ru try running this on one of our classical solvers. Now, these classical solvers come with Ocean. They're there for you, know, you to, to play with and to test. They run purely classically. In this case, it's running in the cloud. And I'll mention that you know, this isn't a benchmarking study I'm doing here. You know, that Kathy will be giving a talk later about benchmarking. This is simply comparing you know, one BQM solver to another, hybrid to classical. And when I did that, um, you can see that the Taboo sampler was able to solve the problem, but it's not quite as good a solution as was able to be found by the quantum computer, and it took a little bit more time. So specifically, you can see here that the utility was quite a bit lower. It was a bit cheaper, but the overall energy was uh, higher, and it took longer to solve. So I hope what I've shown today is that you can use Leap and our online IDE to get started with quantum easily and quickly with our fully featured environment that you can use to build practical problems. Uh, and practical solutions, and that you can use our hybrid solvers to solve real practical problems today at scale using the best of quantum and classical. Thanks, everyone, for listening.